Welcome back everybody. This is Zach's Garage and the Bayliner Boat Project. If you missed the last episode, I'll post a link up to it right here. But what we did was we installed the deck into the boat, but it wasn't quite finished. And that's what we're doing today is finishing it up by fiberglassing over the top and also putting foam in it before that. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right guys, so we finished getting all the peanut butter around the edges of the deck. And so it actually ended up taking a lot more of the resin than I thought it was. I ended up doing about four or five cups just around the edges. Fun fact, I started using flour instead of the fume silica instead because I was running out of that fume silica and I needed something else to thicken the room with. I was able to use flour instead. Now I've seen a few other people do this and some people like it, some people don't. And I'm here to tell you it does work. It does have a bit more of a coarse finish to it, but really all we care about is filling that void in terms of a coarse finish, I really don't care about that because I'm fiberglassing right over it where I'm tabbing in the deck to the hole. So that worked out good. So now the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to get the drill and I'm going to start drilling holes through all this nice wood I've got glued down here. So that way I can go ahead and fill up the cavities on the side with foam. And that's going to do three things for us. It's gonna make the boat more soundproof. It's gonna help give the deck a sturdier feeling because that foam will be up pushing against it. It won't just be a void where the deck could fall into. And then also with that, because the foam will be filling the space, whenever it warms up and cools down, the air underneath those voids in the deck won't be able to have the moisture condensate which could eventually lead to water damage in the deck even though I waterproofed it mostly the foam will just really help prevent that from ever happening so let's go ahead and get the gun out and start drilling some holes for the foam cavities that we're gonna be working with, filling up. And then I went ahead and got all the sawdust from those holes vacuumed up. So now we are ready to go and start mixing up that foam to pour in the holes.
got all of the foam poured under the deck cavities. So now what we can go ahead and do is I'm going to go over the whole deck with the belt sander and orbital sander and maybe the angle grinder sanding disc as well. Basically I'm just going to sand the whole deck down to make sure there's no high spots, get some of these little pieces out where uh, little bits of resin sort of got to that didn't get completely cleaned off. Basically, we just want to make it as flat as possible, especially where it transitions to the sides onto the hole. So that way, whenever we put the chop strand mat down and glue it in with the resin, uh, it'll just look as smooth as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and get sanding now. sanding done and then I went ahead and took the measurements for the sizes of the sheets of fiberglass I'm going to be laying down on the deck here and I marked all those measurements down on my little graphing paper so now that I've got those I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the sheets of fiberglass
is where we are going to end today's video. As you saw, when we put that fiberglass down on the deck, it was completely white. But then when you coat it in that resin, it turns the fiberglass completely transparent. And you could see through as if you're looking just at the wood. And that's exactly what you want. And that's how you know you did a good job putting the resin onto the fiberglass. But it turned out really good. Our deck is finally waterproof, guys. I could take a water hose right now and just hose the whole thing down. And it would be perfectly fine. We have completely waterproofed that. So that's really good. We're going to pause on working on the deck inside the boat now in the next video because we're going to take a moment to fix up the engine and put it all back together and we're going to see if we can get it to run, guys. So stay tuned for that because it's going to be hopefully a good video. <laughs> But I do want to say thank you to 182 subscribers. You guys are the best. And please leave me a like if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>